Robert Postel, I am Marsha for the technical recruiting. My name is Ayman, and today I will tell you about the influence of social networks on people's self-esteem and project intentions. Thank you. I'll use this one. All right. So, of course, when talking about online social networks, I have to talk about Facebook because it's the biggest online social platform right now and because it has such an enormous influence in our lives since 2004. <laughs> so let's start with some definition. Self-esteem is your overall evaluation about yourself. Some close synonym are self-worth and self-respect. So people with high self-esteem are those who really proud of themselves and who feel really good about themselves. Now, self-control is your ability to control your current emotion, behavior, desires in order to achieve a higher goal. A good illustration of self-control is the famous marshmallow study in psychology. So researchers, they put children in front of marshmallow and a table, and then they ask children, and they tell children that you can eat a marshmallow right in front of you right now. But if you can wait 15 minutes, I will come back and give you an additional marshmallow. So those high self-control are those who can resist the current temptation to eat the marshmallow right in front of them, and then wait 15 minutes to reach the high goal, which is to marshmallow. Now what about those with low self-control? They reach out for it immediately. <laughs> and culture and tension is pretty self-planetary. It's their willingness to buy a certain product or service. So now let's move on to talk about background. I'm going to show you a really interesting research that gave me the inspiration to conduct my own study. At first, the researcher reminded people of their close friends. Then everybody would use Facebook for five minutes. Then they found increase in self-esteem and a decrease in self-control. But it also interesting to find a connection between self-esteem and self-control in the sense that the decrease in self-control is caused by the increase in self-esteem. Now, many people have questioned me about this connection, but this is not the first study that shows such a link between self-esteem and self-control. As you can see right here, it actually has been shown in the past. What also interesting about this study is their self-control measurement. They ask people, would you like a chocolate bar or a granola bar after Facebook? And people who are reminded of close friends, People who use Facebook for five minutes, much more likely to pick a chocolate bar after Facebook compared to the control groups. And it says that bad food choice is a demonstration of low self-control. Also, in the same set of study, they find a connection between Facebook and credit score. So the more time you spend on Facebook, the lower your credit score. This is really interesting. And because this is also the study that gave me the idea about project intention. So if Facebook use correlate with bad credit score, maybe it also correlate with project intention because one reason people have bad credit score because they buy more online. But the thing is, why do people buy more online? And I try to answer the question using this model. Now this is exactly the same finding I showed you earlier. Remember the chocolate and granola bar study? And I add this part, project intention. So I hypothesize that people will have increased in project intention after Facebook due to the decrease in self-control. So in other words, this is my hypothesis. There will be an increase in self-esteem, there will be a decrease in self-control, and there will be a higher project intention after Facebook. So why do we care about project intention? Now this is something that I found out over the last semester. It used to be the American who consume the highest e-commerce or the electronic commerce on the internet. But now look at the trend in 2012. It's now the Asian. So what make the change, what make the shift from the American to the Asian? Is that the boom in technology? Is that the boom in the social networks used in the Asian countries? That's the question I want to find out. And so you know about my hypothesis? Let's talk about method. My participants are 156 people. They're many Berkeley students. And I created a survey using Quartix, a very popular online team, survey tool. Then look at the procedure. Everybody will answer some general question about the internet. And then they will complete the two scale, the self-esteem scale and the self-control scale. These two very standard scales in psychology. This is an example of self-esteem scale. 
on the whole, I am satisfied with one myself, and people will indicate a reference on one to four. This is self-control scale. I'm good at resisting temptations, and also, similarly, answer the reference from one to five. Now, come the manipulation part. So there are three groups, I'm sorry, there are three conditions in my study. The close friend, the distant friend, and the strangers. For the close friend, this is how I say it. Please list the name of five people who you consider to be close friend on Facebook. And for the distant friend, I said, please list the name of five people who you consider to be distant friends on Facebook. And for the strangers, get what? I gave them five really weird and unusual names in Germany or in Turkey and asked them to copy them. <laughs> and then everybody will use Facebook for five minutes, similar to the original study. Then they will complete the project intention scale. And I will talk more about it later. Then they will do the two scale again the self esteem scale and self control scale. Then some demographic questions like race and age. Now, a difference between my study and the original study is that they only measure self esteem uh, after the manipulation. I actually measure self esteem before and after the manipulation. This is a more accurate way to show the change in self esteem and also a more accurate way to show the effect of the manipulation, if there are any. This is the protein tension scale I'm sorry, that I developed based on the most sold item on the internet in 2011. And there are 16 items on the scale, and you can see the example on the screen right now. Also, they answer the reference on the scale of 1 to 7. Next is something we're all waiting for the results. So, a quick recap. I have hypothesized that there are going to be an increase in self-esteem, decrease in self-control, and higher protein intention. So let's look at self-esteem. There are actually a huge increase in self-esteem after Facebook for people who are in my close friend, but not so much in a distant friend and a stranger. And P equal 0.02, which is significant. Now self-control. Unfortunately, I didn't quite find a connection between Facebook and self-control. And project intention. As you can see right here, there's connection between project intention and self-control in the sense that the more the difference in self-control, the higher the project intention and P equals 0.001 which is highly significant. But also interesting and similar to what I have expect, uh, Asian actually but much have a higher project intention compared to Y and P value is also highly significant. Let's move on to discussion. Now, I have found that after Facebook, there's an increase in self-esteem, and if there's a connection between self-control and project intention, the more the difference in self-control, the higher the project intention. But unfortunately, I didn't find a connection between Facebook and self-control. So you may have wondered why Facebook used increase people's self-esteem. Well, it has something to do with our habit of using Facebook. When we're on Facebook, we tend to share the positive information about us. Let me be, we pick a good photo to be our profile picture, and then always share our awesome summer vacation. And to illustrate my point, let's try this one. Which one is the current Facebook profile picture of Britney Spears right now? Make a guess. This one or this one? Well, the answer is pretty obvious. Of course, they're going to pick the much better looking one to be the profile picture because we want to share the positive information on Facebook. Now, also, we care more about our close friends and think of it this way. When your close friend knows that you ate the pet this morning, how do you feel? You feel good about yourself. You feel, you feel proud of yourself. That's the increase in self-esteem. But on the other hand, if a stranger knows that you ate the pet this morning, does it really give you an increase in self-esteem? Not really, because you don't really care about a stranger's opinion, do you? And the next thing is protein tension and protein behavior. They're different. They may not be the same. I have the intention to buy a, I don't know, BMW 7 Series, but I'm just a poor young college student. I don't have the money, so I don't have the actual behavior of buying the car. So this is something for future research. It will be interesting to see how the intention match up with the actual behavior. 
And also, it would be interesting to look at the cultural factor. So, the culture actually play a role right here. Why Asian people have more intention to buy compared to the rest of the world? And finally, I would like to give a couple of minutes to talk to express my gratitude to all of these significant individuals who helped me conduct my summer research. Like Dr. Kai Pingpen, he my mentor who helped me get this fellowship. Uh, Feng Yu, he's a grad student from Tsinghua University. We spent countless hours talking about research design. And do, he also helped me do the analysis. Also the dedicated staff who are always there to help me whenever I need help. And also the donor. And also, last but not least, to everybody here, thank you for your attention. <laughs>